uh, everyone agrees with me, is the time to act is now. And it's and also say you can do it sitting in your chair. Just change your gear in your mind. Right. Get your priorities right. And uh, are there, uh, are there nobody's crosses, gonna help you. Are there CUSs in other parts of South Africa or equivalent type organizations? No, they only well, you know, Scott, I checked it with them January and then I was gonna start when we were you know, I was trying to get a working sort of group together with various <laughs> experts in the agricultural fields and electrical fields. Um, uh, obviously, even legal banking, we, we're going to have to probably come up with our own currency this time next year. Well, I, I just, we're going to more than likely have to do that and have our own bank. We might yeah. have to get to that point. I, I right just now, had a thought. Food. I just had a thought, Chris, which is, you know, I've, I've <laughs> I have these little moments of uh, uh, brilliance. <laughs> I just want to run this past you. <laughs> I, I want to run this past you. Um, there, I'll give you one example. Now, there's a guy who lives in Bergville, and his name is Patrick, Patrick Fisher. He's a channel hero. Um, for years now, he has been handing out food parcels to people all over KwaZulu-Natal. And a lot of the food he gets is from farmers and from uh, people he knows. So he has a network. So he's almost like what you're talking about here, the central source where people can go and get fresh food and vegetables and stuff like that. Now, with people like Patrick, wouldn't this be a way that they could actually earn a small income for their charity work by actually getting extra food in and then acting as an independent distributor of that food to the community? Definitely, Scott. That's exactly what it does. What that cost crowd do, they got the, like hub distributors, they, they divide it into hubs. And then you get a hub, central point, a hub distributor. Yeah. These people get a little commission on the bulk. But now you're talking about a lot of people in that area, maybe 50 families buying. And you're talking about know, maybe 100,000 rand of the way groceries, uh, you know, the prices of groceries today. Yeah. And and, and, that, and that kind of person could now make an income of, say, whatever. They give them 5% to get this 5 grand for them. And, they, and they're sitting at home. So we're not talking only about cutting these big conglomerates up. We're talking about empowering people, uh, giving them income to spend with you in yeah. your own neighborhood, it, it, providing employment in your own neighborhood. And believe me, the longer term projects in phase two will provide a huge amount of employment. Because then we're talking about going for power, solar panels, on a scale of, 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 of running communities. Yeah. You know, and those are big projects. And they're going to provide a lot of income uh, and a lot of employment and water etc etc so, so that's phase two so i'm keeping it pretty superficial tonight i'm just saying cut the supermarkets out cut them all out that's basically if you only yeah. remember that then you've then you've gotten somewhere but um it's certainly just a mind shift and please if you cannot see that you need to support and the more people support the community the less threat outside threat there is it diminishes and, you know, I get so upset, you know, people go to, someone's got a problem with eyes like I have. So, oh, let's go to Specsavers. No, I'm not knocking anybody in. There's an optometrist sitting inside their town. They drive right past him to go to the mall. There's a guy who runs that business as a family. He's done it for 27 years. No, they drive past him. We've got to really, really, really look at ourselves. We become a consumer uh, and an instant gratification citizenry. That's all we do. We consume. We, we need to realize that, that that's a hell of a hazardous thing to do. And being a consumer, then you better rather rely on people you can rely on going forward. You know, we could be having, we, sorry, we could be having a YouTube moment right behind you. Your cat is sniffing out your fish. <laughs> right oh, behind you. <laughs> Got, I thought maybe the nice cat would one. jump into the fish tank, but anyway, please he's carry on. My, he's not my cat. I've inherited two black cats, his sister as well, and, and they've, they've adopted me, and I'm stuck with them. They're not my cats, <laughs> but they live with me. In fact, I think it's probably more their place than mine. But yeah, you know, getting back to that uh, cost, the, the, the course, uh, they've got hubs and distributors, and people are making income in these hubs and distributors. So you, what I'm saying is network with your family around you. Friends, why don't you all just pull your orders together? I'm going to tell you now how you move from that point on and how it works from that point on. It's very, very simple. 
I will give you all the information.